We're back with the Crushing Depth mod, and we have this deep sea submarine that we're going to be testing out, and we're going to see how far it can go down before we start having issues. All right, so let's actually enter the submarine here. I'm actually excited to see the interior. Let me know real quick how many meters you think this thing can actually go underwater. We're actually flooding. Oh my gosh. Nope, don't do that. Wait, do we have water in here already? Oh my gosh. I think we're already starting to sink. Guys, this is a horrible start. Okay, let's turn on Ooh, uh, lights. I, I need lights. It's so dark. All right, lights are now on. Okay, it's not too bad in here. What is this? Radio frequency. I have no idea how to use this. Okay, so we do have actual water in here. We're going to go ahead and drain the airlock because we cannot have water in our actual summer in the interior, like maybe in our ballast tank. Um, Oh, I just saw smoke go through. What was that about, guys? Anyways, let's get this thing started. So let's see what's back here. Our engines. Amazing exhaust pumps. Okay, so how do we start these engines? Uh, Right here, we have an engine starter. We're going to turn that on. Then right here, we also have an engine throttle. We'll put that up. And I think here, let's turn it up a little bit. We have to turn that off because it keeps Keeps going and there we go extend solar panel okay so it's a little bit smoky in here i'm not gonna lie <laughs> It's a little bit concerning, and it sounds like I'm inside of a generator. We're getting an alert. What's that alert? Collision? Oh, gosh. Well, isn't that just great? Okay, so there's probably like a ship about to run into us. Why are we so angled? Oh, my gosh. Guys, there's something wrong with the summary. How do we drive this thing? Okay, so we're going to put the drive throttle a little bit up. Not too far, because we do actually have to turn this. Oh, this is the driver's seat. Okay, so can I turn? Please turn. I'm trying to turn. We're going to actually end up hitting the dock here. That's fine. We're not going too fast. It shouldn't do anything. Oh, gosh. Here we go. Okay, we're hitting it. Please do not break break anything oh these are this is like a fully windowed room so hopefully none of these windows actually break i think we'll be fine though we're gonna put the throttle up a little bit more since we're kind of already past it nope we're definitely still a little scraping it a little bit you know it's fine just keep it going all right we're gonna full throttle right now i think we've completely cleared it let's go we're finally out of the dock okay so um is this really the top speed oh gosh we're going how fast are we going i mean how slow okay let's turn it down a little bit and how is this gonna be a deep sea submarine if this is like all windows guys these might break on us if we go deeper i don't know not like submarines really don't have a lot of windows especially the deep ones but let's see what we can actually do here to start sinking this thing down so um is it starting to go nighttime hold on i don't want it to go nighttime all right so in here we have a ton of stuff so headlights we're gonna turn that on since we are starting to go down turning on all of our lights water jet Ooh, wait is that gonna make us go faster i think it is oh let's go oh geez these lights are like really performance heavy okay so i might have to turn these lights off we're just gonna turn those off for now but i I actually kind of have control of the dive planes as you can tell like i'm trying to lower it up and down we're gonna start diving here um how do we fill up our ballast oh right here fill ballast okay and then this number should start going up amazing and it actually goes up pretty slowly but you know that that's completely fine um where are the ballast tanks even at it must be like these big tanks on the side right here on the bottom that's probably it i really wish this thing would go a little bit faster because we're gonna be going out here for ages like how deep are we we're not even deep at all we have to go out there pretty far let's actually see real quick Okay, so uh, the deepest part would probably be somewhere over there. Let's go set an autopilot waypoints to that location. So it's in front of us here to our right just a little bit. So we'll set one like right there. Autopilot is going to go on here. Autopilot and a submarine. That's actually quite interesting. Okay, so autopilot's on. Depth hold. We're going to do negative. Um, we're going to do 24 now. Okay, I don't know actually how deep this thing can go. Why is it locked? Hold on. Why is it? I can't unlock it. Maybe it's because our ballast isn't full. I don't know. We should start sitting lower and lower in the water we actually have a thousand liters of fuel currently in our ballast and i can't really see a difference that's completely fine um i think we should maybe start touring this thing um until this thing gets situated up here so it has a pretty cool interior i would say it's highly detailed and i think a lot of these actual systems here work so that's kind of the cool part back here we have a scuba suit diving equipment type stuff and a map right here so that's lovely not a lot of maps and submarines all right we're gonna leave this room here a lot of windows in that room a little bit scary in here is the airlock so this is where we entered from there's just a ton of windows i'm worried about the all integrity once we actually start lowering because i don't think we can really go that deep with all these windows i feel like it might have some issue on it but this is actually how we leave the submarine and we have a scuba suit in here so if an emergency does for some reason happen we can leave the submarine i'm actually starting to suffocate oh my gosh okay well i don't think player damage actually can be on for this that's actually concerning player damage isn't going on i thought this thing was made with the space 
space DLC. Unless I forgot to turn on like an air pump. Oh, pump to air tanks. Maybe that's it. Um, I have no clue, guys. That's a little bit concerning. I'm gonna go ahead and turn. Oh, not that. I'm gonna turn on player damage. Yep, it's still going down. Yep, that's going off. Anyways, that's pretty cool. There's like a bunk bed right here or a hospital bed, you should say. Yeah, just a medical bed. Uh, I'm actually gonna go in there and get my health back up. Perfect, perfect. My heart monitor's looking great. We're gonna lower this. Uh, how do I lower this table again? There we go. All right, so what's our depth looking like? I swear, we have to be underwater. It's getting a little bit dark. Really? We're not underwater. I'm so confused. Why is this not locked? Wait, um, I started angling this thing down and I saw it on the... Oh, okay. Uh, turning that on. There we go. So we have to kind of go like underwater to activate that. Let's go. We're going underwater. What the heck type of angle is this? This is not what they do in real life. Shut it down, guys. Shut it down. Start pulling it back up. Oh my gosh, guys. Who is driving the submarine? Okay, we'll turn it back on, but we're going to put it to 10 so we don't go like too far down. So negative 10. There we go. Turn it back on. Oh, don't hit the seafloor. Guys, the submarine's about to do a front flip. Oh my gosh, who's driving this thing? Actually, who's operating? No, not who's operating it. Who made the microcontroller that made it do that? There we go. Now we're leveling out. What is that noise? I hear our engines like really picking up. Oh, oh, that's amazing. So they actually stuck out of the water there. Um, I don't think the depth hold on this thing really works that well. We're gonna go ahead and turn that off. You know, we'll just be at the surface for now until, um, you know, once our ballast actually fills up here. Can I get back here? Oh my gosh. Okay, well, we've basically seen everything in this room right here we have all of our power switches right here probably shouldn't have just messed with those anyways more power switches on this side with an electrical relay right here that's what that red thing is with the white thing in the middle still more windows in this thing like this thing really just concerns me is that a kraken currently over us hold on am i seeing this right no i'm not great anyways back here is our actual engine room i actually really like this engine room i like the amount of detail in it we got two medium engines powering this thing i think these act as generators and the actual main thrust in this thing is electric engine so it's like a diesel electric Ooh, it is not looking too good out here we've barely even gone anywhere so far we really haven't gone anywhere but it is raining that's fine because we're at a submarine I, I can i just have a odd feeling that this is uh waterproof so i think we're fine also i'm curious what this seat does right here so we got the driver's seat which we saw earlier and then we have an operator seat so on the left bottom left of my screen we actually have a ton of controls i can do so where's like this pivot thing that i can move at i'm holding d oh wait that's moving um it's a little bit bright over here okay so you can kind of see it right there if i move it left oh okay um i don't exactly know what the point of this is i honestly have no idea and then right here we actually have a monitor of what it's seeing so if i move it left to right we can see basically everything so this must be like some type of research submarine but i don't know it's getting pretty rough out there i can see the waves from just in here that actually looks really cool like we're under all those waves actually not really we're above them technically the ballast is really starting to get full here we should start being able to actually lower this thing so i'm gonna hold the down button and see how this does so i'm holding the oh i'm in the operator seat here well, let's go to the driver's seat that'll probably do better so here we go trying to lower it down don't get the engine sticking out of the water and we should start going under oh this wave might mess us up here and we're good all right i think we're on a clear shot to the bottom of the ocean from here normally you don't want to say that but we're in a submarine so it's made for that i've probably had more encounters of me saying that when i wasn't in a submarine and rather in a ship okay so we have 500 kilometers to go before we're in a pretty deep area and i think this is like some type of lidar or sonar i have no idea probably some type of actual useful equipment in this thing all right so what's our current depth looking like uh does is there not a display here we go there's stuff down here so that's our speed this one must be our depth so we're at 26 meters right now that's actually not a problem i think we're gonna go a little bit deeper so let's see let's turn on the lights also there's a whole bunch of lights up here i did not turn on for performance purposes because oh my gosh yeah my computer is really not liking that okay we're gonna turn that off view radio okay oh uh oh wait we're getting alerts uh vehicle crushing depth is reaching its crushing depth we're not even that deep though like i can see the surface what the heck i don't know if this is really a deep explorer submarine we're only at like what how deep are we 47 meters and we're getting alerts like what in the world probably like just a glitch or something i think we'll be fine we definitely should have put a radar or not a radar i'm um, a repair tour torch in this thing just in case wait what was that swimming over there what is that oh that's just like a camera or something anyways we're gonna be doing our scheduled maintenance check here at the bottom of the ocean or pretty near the bottom we're pretty deep right now um yeah we're still going okay that's great we're gonna go do our maintenance check let's check all of our dials right here make sure everything's going good what's supposed to be on this monitor right here because there's nothing on it uh, i hope that's not important but yeah engine temperature is really low that actually 
explodes at 115 so it's really far away from that at just nine and oh uh i've just realized why oh my gosh i think we've actually water flooded our engine because i forgot to turn it off unless it automatically turned off when we got down here so we're probably just draining our battery right now which is completely fine but we're pretty deep right now honestly i'm impressed what is that in front of us is that a wait is that underwater how the is that underwater i'm confused on how there's like a spot you guys see that down there right okay well that just proves that there is some curvature to the earth because you know that's pretty cool anyway we're gonna dive this thing down to 60 meters all right so i'm in the driver's seat right now right yes we are i'm starting to dive it down and we're gonna be using our depth here so you know what? we're gonna type in negative 55 all right and that is now on and it should really start launching us down here let's hope that it doesn't hit the seabed here because i can kind of see it we've reached our crushing depth we've gotten alerts of that oh um i don't see anything so i think we're totally fine right now we're going beyond like upside down i do actually see the bottom here i'm not seeing any damage so that is good depth hold active you know we're gonna turn that off we're getting really close to the bottom here i see it oh god what's our current depth looking like we're at 80 oh my gosh okay we're actually pretty deep right now but i'm not seeing any type of damage in here we are doing completely fine what was that i just saw some smoke now oh the lights are flickering a bit 50 meters below the surface don't like scuba divers go that deep this isn't even deep oh, okay here we go 50 we're reaching the 50 spot and here we go we're at 50 right now i'm not seeing anything happen this looks completely fine to me okay so we're at 50 do you guys think this thing can reach 100 um ooh, i really don't know okay we're at 54 yeah no problem i don't know i would say we could probably reach like 65 okay we're gonna go down to 65 here and if i see like like smoke or something we're gonna start resurfacing here uh, matter of fact speaking we're gonna bring this down to negative one so just in case that does start to happen what's our depth okay we're about at 65 here oh gosh i don't see any dents in here yet i think we're doing fine nothing has broken open it's going pretty good but we're like really deep right now i don't know how deep it is but it's a little bit deep okay so i don't really exactly know once again how deep 64 is i think it's quite a lot but this is like totally fine even at 75 we've actually lost connection to one of our cameras do you guys think that's because it might have broken from the depth oh gosh okay let's take a look back here back here in the interior it isn't looking um oh so we do have some dents right here do you guys think this is from the crushing depth mod no way i don't believe it yeah we're totally fine in the engine room i'm not seeing any leaks around the crevices i yeah we're definitely doing good i don't know what this is about though that might have been like a hull integrity issue so that might be an issue honestly but i don't think we're gonna report that yeah we're completely fine we're gonna keep diving this thing down to probably like a hundred or something oh look how deep we are guys we're at 123 we are so deep right now no one in the world knows that we're even this deep okay so oh it looks like it actually has spread a little bit oh my gosh oh this is bad guys the hull is crushing from the inside out it actually reached one of our engines oh that's horrible guys okay uh, i think we're fine oh it hit a window oh my gosh all the windows are destroyed in here no not even the airlock one guys i told you about those windows isn't that just amazing we've reached the sea floor at 168 there is no way we're this deep oh my gosh guys it is not looking too good in here the lights are blinking i can't even fit through this door okay squeeze through here and all right um i would say there's a little bit of damage in here you know i think it's completely fine oh the engine room has lost its electricity that's not good guys you know the engine room honestly has the worst amount of damage i think we're gonna be sealing this off from the main ship itself so there we go uh i don't yeah the engine room's definitely not gonna work anymore we're currently at the sea floor my door is actually breaking from the crushing depth probably crunching it in and it's like what the heck's going on but yeah i definitely don't want to go out there we should probably stop filling the ballast um uh, never mind it's actually maxed out Ooh, it's actually draining really fast okay we don't need to do that wait guys look we're not on the sea floor anymore um we're about to be you know what should we just shut it down here i think we could yeah we're this depth mod has nothing on us um what was that guys i just heard an explosion oh that does not look good i think the engine just completely obliterated okay let's go back here um what's going on here in the engine room oh there's so much water it's filling up back 
there. Go, go, go. Okay, we need to start throttling up. Throttle it up. Here we go. Oh, wait. Is the engine even going to work? You know, we got a backup plan for this. I planned for this, guys. Okay, so wait. Why is our depth not working? Oh, that was my backup. Well, there that goes. So it appears we've lost every single instrument in here besides our lights. Well, isn't that amazing? Yep, definitely useful. We can toggle to the bottom of the ocean. Yep, I totally want to do that. Headlight angle. Maybe we'll angle it up and do SOS. Oh, this is terrible. Okay, we got the lights pointing upwards. I'm going to start turning them on and off for SOS. So, da, 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 da. I don't even know. Okay, well, the good thing is the water isn't in here. Or it wasn't the last time I checked. What the heck? And it's actually rising. Oh, no. Guys, it's seeping through the door. I thought I made the door completely airlock tight. This is bad. Okay, uh, we have some emergency equipment in here. I forgot where it was at, to be honest. Oh, my gosh. Where's the transponder? We have an emergency. Oh, I see myself. Hello. Here, how about we broadcast this current event to the entire world? So, we're going to go to channel 11. Hello, hello. We're at the bottom of a submarine, and we have our engine room just completely explode on us. Um, guys, why is the water filling up so fast? Oh, my gosh. The door broke open. Oh, oh, I think it's time to evacuate. Oh, what is that noise, guys? I hear... Wait, you guys hear that? Um, uh, what is that noise, guys? That does not sound good. That sounds like a ghost. Look at all the water. Oh, oh, my gosh. Okay, the air pressure is a little bit crazy. Uh, I think, well, we're in a submarine. We do have a couple scuba suits on board. I'm going to be smart and grab one of those. So give me that. Thank you. Stop launching me back. Do you think we should get out of the airlock? You know what? I'm going to stay in here for a bit and see if an air pocket actually forms. That is our last choice because air pockets do happen. Amazing. We're just filling with water. Yep, there goes the submarine. Don't worry, guys. I've researched this a lot and normally an air pocket forms. So we're going to wait for that to happen. Yep, just any time now, the air pocket should start to form. Oh, I don't know if it's going to, guys. It's still rising. Wait, it's leveled out. So that means back here is also some. There's a little bit of air. Okay, guys, there's just a little bit of air left in here. Maybe the rescue teams could get in here. I don't know. But wait, is it rising still? Oh, no. Okay, well, you know, we do have an airlock in this thing. I think it's about time we evacuate. Um, There is some air, though, but it's rising. Yeah, it's definitely not going to work out. All right, are you guys ready? We're going to be leaving the submarine, and hopefully I don't die. We're going to do, um, oh, we could also drain the airlock. You think that would work? Maybe, yeah, it's going down. Oh, perfect. Maybe if I lock this door too. We're currently draining the airlock. The water's actually going down, so this is working. Um, ooh, that's really good. So do we still have an air pocket? Uh, no, we don't. Okay, well, I can't even fit in how small that air pocket space is. I think it's time we get out of here. All right, three, two, one, hatch open. We've opened the top hatch. I'm trying to swim up, but the air pressure's insane. Go, go, go. Oh, look at the submarine. I think I see the top. It's a little bit wavy, but I think I'm gonna survive. And oh, I can't get up there. My scuba suit's too heavy. Okay, take it off. Take it off. And oh, what beautiful weather it is. Good old Stormworks weather. Well, guys, that's probably gonna be it for this video. Let me know what we should do next in Stormworks. That's a pretty fun submarine. Link is in the description if you wanna go subscribe to it. But guys, make sure you guys go ahead, like, subscribe, hit that bell, join the Discord. Link is in the description. But thanks for watching and goodbye.